Hello Aries. Rebel Mike here. Gonna play some tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate it. It is my two year anniversary here on YouTube. And I just wanna take a minute. Thank you for all of your support. You guys have been absolutely amazing to me. All of your likes, all of your subscribes, all of your donations, many of them. Thank you so much for all of it. I appreciate it all, large or small, um, very kind. And uh, I just wanna say thanks for the two years. I plan on doing different things on my channel this year. You know, be led and guided by source, huh? Still going to be doing these readings for you guys, but I'm going to add more because I just, I don't know, I want to pull more cards for you guys. I want to play more cards with you and all that fun stuff. So we'll see where source leads me. Quick announcement to do, um, my next Sunday fun day will be January 19th, 5 p.m. Eastern time, Sunday fun day. Hope you can make it there, Aries. The party just ain't the same unless, uh, my little fireballs are in the house, that's for sure. And a uh, quick mention, I do have a meet and greet coming up. I'm going to Burbank, California in March, the 21st and the 22nd. A two-day event where not only I'll be there, but I have over 20 YouTube readers uh, that are going to be there to read cards for you, meet with you, take pictures with you. All this fun shit, man. All the names of them are down below in the description area. I encourage you to check them out, man. Give them a like, give them a subscribe. Take a look who's going to be at the event in March. Um, like I said, it's a two-day two day event from noon till 8 o'clock at night. Uh, there will be over 20 readers in the house. There's a cocktail lounge, so you can get you a little cocktail if you so desire. Uh, interacting with like-minded people. Um, I've asked all the readers to bring their merchandise. It's going to be a lot of stuff for you to look at and uh, just overall fun. I'm going to be selling tickets for the event. They are $40 for the two-day event. You can come in and out anytime you want. You can come both days, hang out all day, whatever you want to do. Um, that's uh, uh, what that ticket is going to be. It's going to be easy to get the ticket. Uh, there's a phone number down below. Just uh, send me a text. To that number right there i'll send you an invoice and then uh, i will send you a text to your telephone a little bit emoji of me rambling mike um the meet and greet tarot expo it will be at the uh, american legion in burbank california post 150 and uh that'll all be there the address the times all that and what you'll do is you'll just show because everybody got their phone you just pull up that text Show the little bit emoji of old rambling mic right there. And you come in and out of the door all day long, both days, all that fun stuff. So all that information is down below. I'm hoping to see you at the event in March. And then, of course, more information coming all that. Let's play some cards, huh, Aries? This uh, reading will be... For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, it'll be a love read. You know, I'm going to tell a little love story right here. And only you know if this is going to resonate with you or not. There's no way it can resonate with everybody. So if it does, I want you to run with it and have fun with it. If it doesn't resonate with you, I want you to have fun throwing it out the door. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I asked Source to put these together for who's ever looking at these videos, Aries or not, for their first perspective, you know. Could very well play out like that, and generally does. Um, but, you know, let's fire up our intuition, psychic abilities, and all that. See if you are in the story. See if your friend's in the story. All that fun stuff, huh? I'm chopping your deck the whole time here, Aries. Let's go with this right here. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Tarot, hey, love team. Aries is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most of their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Aries see and hear what they need out of this reading. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Aries' highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Aries. Cutting the deck. First card out here is the High Priestess, uh, Major Arcana, Major Life Force card. 
High Priestess is Cancer. It's Pisces. May mean something to you. May not. She is definitely about psychic abilities. The High Priestess is about, well, maybe you got somebody, Aries, that, you know, got a little telepathy going back and forth between. The High Priestess, can she can talk about silence in the natural, you know, maybe no communication with somebody. Uh, there may be some secrets and all that kind of stuff. But the High Priestess is about you, Aries, being tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. That's for sure. And um, maybe having communication with somebody, dreaming about them. Maybe they're dreaming about you. Let's see where this goes. Let's, cro let's see who crosses over the High Priestess. I like her right in the middle of your tail spread. Oh, I got a Queen of Swords right here. It's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Somebody got their sword up in the air in this situation. You know, maybe because of the silence right here. Could be my Aries energy. You know, you got your sword up to somebody. Hmm? You know, the Queen of Swords, she can seem cold and detached on the outside, but inside she's ooey gooey, soft and chewy, full of agape love. Does have butterflies flying around her right there, Aries. You know, talks about transformation coming in here from Ice Queen. Hmm. Maybe somebody had their sword up to you, but... The sword's up in the air right here. Impossible silence between these two. But in the 5D, I see communication. And I see the possibility of a metamorphosis change right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Five of cups at the base of the spread. The old cup spiller. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Well, Three of Cups is definitely about, you know, focused on the spilled cups. It does have the old dreaded two cups behind them right there, you know. Oh, I mean the blessed two cups, huh? <laughs> it's got the two cups right there, but somebody, somebody was spilling cups, you know. Not supposed to focus on that, though are we supposed to focus on the bliss? And uh, pick up these two cups of bliss and go over that bridge over troubled water. Back to that high vibration castle right there on the other side of the river of tears. Been that old spilled cups energy for a while. Could be my Aries with that sword raised up, but I see transformation. I see transformation with those butterflies. Here we go. Oh, injustice. Justice in the recent past. It's a major arcana. It's Libra. May mean something to you, may not. But justice is about the balancing of karma happening right here. It's about source getting involved in a love story. Something that was unjust. It was out of balance. Of course it was. Three spilled cups right there. Swords are raised in the air. I do see the scales are evenly balanced with the justice card. And again, I continue to look at those butterflies on my queen of swords. It's nice. Here we go. Crown on the spread. Wow, Aries. The sun coming in here for you. Three major arcana out of five cards. This is a nice spread. It's Leo. May mean something to you, may not. See, so, yeah, I told you there's transformation coming in here. These two have been dreaming about each other because Source is getting involved in this situation right here and the balancing of karma between these two. The Sun card is the best card in the tarot deck. It's about abundance, prosperity, the good life, all that wonderful stuff. It's also a soulmate, life partner, twin flame card. There's balancing going on between these two. A lot of it in the 5D right now. But when the sun's showing up, I mean, that's more manifesting it into the 3D. It's balance coming in here for my Aries. who may have been standing at this river of tears for far too long. Huh. Immediate future. <laughs> oh, man. We're just jumping right to the goods. 
The Herophant come out. Number four, Major Arcana. This is a major change for an Aries right here, you know. That is the Herophant. He is the Pope of the Tarot deck. The Herophant is Major Arcana. That is uh, sacred masculine energy in the 5D. And the High Priestess is sacred feminine energy in the 5D. I'm telling you, these two have been communicating with each other. They've been dreaming about each other. They've been talking to each other out of their heart chakras and their pollenial glands for a while now. And sources in the background working, bringing balance into this, allowing the sun to come and shine on these two. Herophant is about being streetwise and spiritual at the same time. Herophant, huh? Aries is about being the student and the teacher at the same time. The Herophant's definitely about all the wisdom that'll come into your life because of a journey like this right here. And the Herophant's definitely about committed relationships, the ones that you signed up for in the 5D. Like I said, I got sacred masculine energy and sacred feminine energy in the 5D, and I got source balancing it out for my queen of swords and the butterflies fluttering around. Super nice, man. Another major arcana. The devil. <laughs> Shit. The devil's showing up right here. Down here by old five, by five of cups, the old cup spiller. You know what the devil is? It's the lovers. It's the, you see them right there. It's the lovers, but you know, it's the lovers upside down. Definitely a strong connection between these two. Strong sexual energy between these two. But Aries be like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to play with somebody. Come in here and spill all my damn cups. Every time they come play with me, they come in here and they spill cups. It does have the sun finally showing up on the top of this spread. The majors that I have on this are Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Cancer, Pisces. May mean something to you. May not. You know, let's turn that old devil energy around right here, huh? Yeah. Wow. As I said that right there, another major arcana, Aries. Wow. It's the world card. And the world card is about turning things around. It's about old cycles ending and new cycles coming in here for you. It's about seeing yourself as that golden angelic being. Seeing the world as your oyster. And ooh la la, here come a pearl of great prize. Here come the sun shining in on your head. It's definitely about a relationship. One that you signed up for in the 5D, if this is resonating with you. One that Source is bringing balance into. This is a huge reading. You know, I want you to watch your stinking thinking, because if you're going to continue to see them showing up as the devil, it's going to be a hard time for them to show up as the sun. No doubt this person, you know, put you at the river of tears. But this talks about a cycle change. So if this is resonating with you, man, this is this is worth looking at right here. Because this says that there's been balance, karmic balance coming in between the high priestess and the hierophant. Sacred masculine and sacred feminine in the 5D. That it's a cycle change. That old cycles are ending and new cycles are beginning. But it does say that Aries has got the old Queen of Swords energy going on. Because they definitely were treating you like the devil, you know. Or they were acting like the, the devil. Out spilling all these damn cups. But this says that the sun and the sun in that position trumps all of this. It says to see it as, you know, a cycle change for you. This is years of shit being upside down. We just went through eclipses. 
We are all entering into a new 30 plus year cycle right now. Everybody on this planet. So let's go ahead and have our eyes wide open. Let's choose the best path that Source offers us, huh? Another major arcana. It's the lover's card. Soulmate, twin flame, life partner. It's all over this. Gemini may mean something to you, may not. You know, somebody's force is burning up over there. Somebody else is leaning up against the old apple tree being all seductive. Hey, lover, it's over here. Got Raphael up above me. Come on, peeps. We got Eden in the middle. This is that story of the closing of the gap. For my divines right here, my high priestess and my high priest. Two of wands. Two of wands as an outcome. Two of wands is about, well, somebody's definitely been at a crossroads, huh, with the lovers right there. Probably your friend, that old cup spiller right there, huh? They've been at a crossroads, but they're definitely looking at the world right there. Man, they're looking at that world right there on that wand. It looks to me like they're letting go of some shit right over here. That other wand. They've chosen the path that they want to go on, which would be you. Two of Wands can also talk about Aries, fire energy right there. Having set your intentions about you, what you wanted to manifest with this relationship, but ran into that damn little wall that's right there. And Two of Wands is about you pressing through that little wall, stepping over it, jumping over it, knocking it down to manifest what you want. It's about setting your intentions. The next one is Three of Wands, and then the next one is Four of Wands. You know, it's the story of the wands right here. I see a committed relationship having great potential to come in here for you, man. This is a divine relationship, you know. It, it, I mean, these are soulmates, twin flames. Look, man, we got the, the lover's card and the devil. I want to see what's on the bottom of the deck right here. This is an amazing spread. Well, I got another major arcana, imagine that. Uh, the Fool card, you know, there's there's Aries. There's Aries right there, that old fresh start, leap of faith, new beginning, got the little doggy down there. Hey, hey, Aries, look out, you're gonna step off the cliff. But the Fool's always about, well, I'll always land on my feet anyway, huh? Okay, sirrah, sirrah, whatever will be, will be. Geronimo, here I go. Taking a leap of faith, going to jump. You know, going to jump. Going to jump over that little wall right there. Going to try and close this gap between these lovers because they may be coming in being all serious. There is strong sexual energy between these two when the lover's card and the devil shows up here and, and the high priestess and the high priest and the sun shining on this and justice over here. That is metamorphosis. And the world card? How many majors do I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. This is major change. Ten of cups. <laughs> Look to me like Aries is going to take a leap right here. For their ten of cups. I mean, why not? Huh? Quit focusing on the damn spilled cups right there. Somebody may have changed. Got the Queen of Pentacles right there. That is the catch. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We got Capricorn right here. Got Taurus right there. Just saying. Don't have to be that, but this is the catch, ain't it? Male or female. You know, Queen of Pentacles right there. Yeah, she lives in this world right here of Ten of Cups, by the way. Or he. They may have changed. Justice is on the board here. 
Six of Swords, yes. Yeah. Somebody wants to come out of the choppy waters, man. Somebody learned a hell of a lot of life lessons. Source is helping them come out, man. Source is helping this person come out, huh? Uh, it's a nice spread, man. It's a beautiful spread, actually, about the potential for union. You know, it's kind of like your call, what you're going to do, Aries, huh? I mean, that two of wands is yours. I mean, it says jump. Nobody knows what's best for you better than you do. It says jump, man. Ten of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, the catch. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody grounded, balanced, stable. You know, they eat right, take care of the body, they have a golden pair of spirituality in their hand. They live in a magical world. They know how to manifest financial security and comfort and all that shit. It's the catch. They want to come out of these choppy waters. Wherever they've been, they learned a whole hell of a lot of life lessons. Maybe they grew the hell up. You know, it's this classic story that I see about, you know, the high priestess right here, sacred feminine energy. Not sure that sacred masculine energy has really changed. And the proof is in the love pudding right here. But, you know, all this justice, the world card, the sun... They may have changed, man. Five card movie spread on Aries Friend, please. What are they thinking and feeling about Aries right now? Thank you, love team. What is that one that barked right there? Seven of Wands. They may have blocked you at one time, huh? They may have blocked my Aries, you know? Thinking that the grass is greener on the other side and all that stupid ass shit. Being the devil, spilling cups. Guarantee if they were spilling cups, you was one of the only cups that they spilled. That's why we watch what we do. We we reap what we sow. They they may have, you know, have to stand up and do what's best for them as well right here with Seven of Wands. They may have to choose the path that they're going to go down. There may be some people that don't like them deciding to come back and and, and work with their Aries. They may have to stand their ground with other people and all that with wherever they've been, huh? Seven of Wands. It's the Heroes card. It's the Heroes card. What are they thinking and feeling about Aries? Yeah. <laughs> the old Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, man, I'm feeling that feeling that there's some people that know about you, Aries, that don't want your friend prancing back into your world, and they are just going to go ahead, look at that flower wand that both of them have in their hand. They are going to just do what's best for them. They're going to block these other people, and they're going to get on their little pony, and they're going to come galloping into your world right here. Because they're being led and guided by source to do as such. They have great passion for you too. Look, the fool card. They're going to take a leap of faith. This is a leap of faith for them. They're going to take a leap of faith. You're going to take a leap of faith. They're going to take a leap of faith towards their Aries. More, please. <laughs> Justice. You two are mirroring each other, if you haven't noticed. Justice right here. It's about the balancing of karma. They want to balance things out with you. All these six is harmony. They want to straighten this mess out with you. Source is dealing with them to change this balance. Wow. It's freaking powerful, Aries. I'm happy for you, man. One more. What are they thinking and feeling about Aries? Four swords. They want healing between you two. They want to come in and heal the situation. They want to heal the heart. They want to heal the mind. They want to take that fourth sword and cut shit out of their life that's no longer serving them for their highest good. <laughs> they 
They think you're the king of wands. There's my Aries right there, male or female. They think you're good looking, sexy, passionate, entrepreneur energy. They think you are the catch. So they have done some work on themselves right here to become the catch, the queen of pinnacles. Because this one's sexy and hot. You know, I know Aries, huh? Good looking and all that, man. Yeah, they're coming in. They're coming in, man. With the queen of love right there. They love you. I know they didn't show it. But they definitely have a revelation. There they are. Don't be like this, Aries. You know, four cups right there. Sitting on the old oak tree. Aries! I'm over here. I know, I'm looking at the damn spilled cups. Anyway, let's throw some love cards out on this, man. I know, I know, I know these karmic, I, I know, I know, I called him a karmic. I know these divines were not good. They weren't. But maybe, just maybe, maybe we were the evil twin last time. Anyway, it's all a little deep. I love the spread, the sun, ten of cups. Both people being the fool, taking the leap of faith. This person's going to have to stand up and do what's best for them. There are going to be some people that are not going to be happy that they're going to come in here and try and bring justice in with their Aries. Just saying. Just saying. Love card on this for Aries, please. I did get a red flag. Can't ignore that. So eyes wide open. You got the old devil right there. You know. Damn it. Wish that card hadn't come out, but it did. It is what it is. Because, you know, I mean, they still could be floundering about what they're going to do. That is damn two of wands right there. Look, they, they definitely... They definitely, look, make the effort. I like the whole spread until red flags came up, I'll be honest with you. And then the devil, you know, and two of wands. They need, they definitely need to make the effort, so. I do believe that that has begun right here. Oh, it's codependency. Oh. Could that be the red flag? Could that be the devil right there? Could there be some codependency issues on their part? And if there is, you know, that is a huge red flag, ain't it? Hmm. Well, see them getting clean, huh? Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. It says be playful. To recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. They're going to come in and make an effort. There may still be some codependency issues right here with that devil. You know, I'm not going to go into all that. You know what's going on. See them getting free. And we got getting to know each other. And we got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Look, she's telling him about it. It's different. It's different this time. Look, she's telling him about it. The angels are right there. Don't forget this and don't forget that. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. <laughs> Imagine that, huh? And then I got the wedding card. Which to me is about somebody that had commitment issues. Learning to get over those commitment issues. It's nice. I see it. They're definitely not going to be able to stay away from you, but I want you to do what's best for you. you know, nobody wants to be dealing with somebody that's, you know, a drunkard, a drug addict, and all that shit. You know, it's rampant in this world that we live in. Do what's best for you. Help them get free and all that, but don't let them pull you down. All that shit, you know. Let Source do that work right here. 
You walk in love, you walk in light, mostly for yourself, right? They're changing. They are, man. They got a chariot right there, so they may live at a distance from you. Maybe some travel. This is the victory card of the tarot deck. And strength from the universe. You know, somebody's learning to tame the beast on the inside of themselves. Look, I, they want to get free from whatever that codependency is about. They may need a, a little encouragement from you and all that. But I want you to love yourself first. It's not your job to get them free. Right? But we can be the guiding light. And there's a star right there. You know, that's about great hope, great faith, the potential of your dreams to become reality. We don't get the star card unless we've been through Hellfire. This is Hellfire journey I'm looking at right here for an Aries. I do see the star. I love it, man. The strength from the universe and the victory of the chariot here. This is uh, Aquarius, Leo, Cancer. May mean something to you. You may want to watch this several times with all these major arcana. It's a beautiful spread. I see major breakthrough beginning with your person right here. Hope you got something out of this, Aries. Namaste. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Aries. Bye for now.